Okay, so we're going to continue with golden glass. We are going to look at the third chunk, which is lines 60 through 92, and we will save the last two chunks for um, the next video. Okay, so in this chunk, it asks us to pay attention to um, what Ted and Vita have in common. So it asks us to circle text that tells us about what they have in common, um, the similarities that they share, or the ways in which they are alike. Um, and you will note that I have boxed in, um, I don't like to circle, so I box things in. I've circled slash boxed in some information that is certainly not um, the only information that the article or that the author um, rather gives us about Ted and Vita and what they have in common. So make sure you're paying attention and making note of any other information um, you think is worth circling. Um, okay, and then the second bullet down asks us to, in the margin, which is the space on the side, um, explain how the plot advances in each paragraph. Now, I have not done that for each of the paragraphs in this section. I have done it for the first one. Um, and so after the first paragraph, I'll pause and talk a little bit about um, how I think the plot is advancing and the note that I made in the margins. But for the other paragraphs, um, I'm just going to remind you at the end of each one to pause the video and take a moment um, to make your, make your own notes in the margin. Okay? So we are at line 60 right up here. Ted had seen his mother walk out to the bridge at night with a glass of wine, looking into the water, listening to it. He knew she loved to see the moon's reflection in the water. She'd pointed it out to him once by a river where they camped, her face full of longing. Too naked somehow, he thought. Then she swam out into the water at night, as though trying to touch the moon. He wouldn't look at her. He sat and glared at the fire and roasted another marshmallow the way he liked it, bubbly, soft, and brown. Maybe six if he could get away with it. Then she'd be back, chilled and bright, and he was glad she went. Maybe I like the moon too, he thought, involuntarily, as though the thought weren't his own. But it was. Okay. Um, so, again, we want to be thinking about how this paragraph advances um, the plot. So what that means, obviously the plot is, um, you know, the events in the story um, and how the story progresses. And, and that is what it's asking here. How does the story progress um, in this paragraph? What new information do we learn um, that helps us move forward or that pushes the story forward in some kind of way? Um, so to advance is to move forward. And for the plot to advance, new information needs to be given to us as the reader. Um, and we certainly do have new information in this paragraph. We're given um, a little bit more about who his mom is um, and what she likes. Uh, we understand her a little bit better. She is somebody who has these moments where she um, likes to be solitary. Um, she's someone who really appreciates the moon um, and feeling connected to the moon in some kind of way. Um, so definitely in this paragraph, the plot is advanced, advanced by um, showing us, giving us a little window into who his mom is in a deeper way. Um, the note that I made in the margin, I said, we learn about how his, we learn about his mother and how they both like the moon because that's what this is mostly about, how she appreciates the moon. And then at the end of the paragraph, he mentions that he thinks he likes it too, um, that he has an appreciation for it. So my note is rel relatively simple. We learn about his mother and how they both like the moon. Um, but that is new information that helps us as we read on. Um, okay. So again, I will pause at the end of each paragraph and remind you to make notes of how um, the story is moving forward. Okay, uh, we're right here. He built the ground floor directly on the earth with a cover of old plywood, then scattered remnant rugs that he'd asked Vita to get for him. He concocted, and I made a note on the side that the definition of con concocted in this context is made or created with different supplies. So I would definitely copy that down. 
He concocted a latch and a door with his hand axe over it, just in case. He brought his sleeping bag, some pillows, a transistor radio, some clothes, and they moved in for the summer. The first week, he slept with his buck knife open in his hand and his pellet gun loaded on the same side, his right. The second week, Ted sheathed the knife and put it under his head, but kept the pellet gun loaded at all times. He missed no one in the house but the dog, so he brought him into the cramped little space, enduring dog breath and farts because he missed someone. Okay, so I would take this moment to pause the video and make a note in the margin about how this paragraph moves the story forward. What did we learn in this paragraph? Okay. Ted thought of when his father left, when they lived in the city with 40 kids on one side of the block and 40 on the other. He remembered that one little kid with the funny sores on his body who chose an apple over candy every time. He worried they would starve or something worse. That time he woke up screaming in his room. He forgot why. And his sister began crying at the same time. Someone's in here, as though they were having the same terrible dream. Vita ran in with a chair in one hand and a kitchen knife in the other, which frightened them even more. But when their mother realized it was only their hysteria, she became angry and left. Later, they all laughed about this till they cried, including Vita, and things felt safer. Okay. Um, you'll notice I boxed in the kitchen knife just simply because it reminded me of how he um, slept with the knife, um, when he was outside. So that showed me something that they might have in common, like this, this need to feel safe. Um, but that was just a, a little thing that I noticed, something that I thought the author was trying to do, show us, a, a more of a comparison between the two. Okay. Um, don't forget to make a note in the margin about, um, how this paragraph advances the plot or moves the story forward. What do we learn in this paragraph that will help us as we read on? Okay, that's the end of that chunk. We'll tackle the next two in the next video. See you then.